Hi, and welcome to another Lure Fishing for Rouse UK video. Uh, well, today is going to be um, the second part of my fishing scissors um, review. Um, so, what we have here is the Max Catch nippers. Um, these, as you can see, they have a bottle opener there because every angler is an alcoholic, obviously. Um, there is a spike just there for clearing out um, the eyes of hooks, and it has replaceable blades. I fitted a lanyard on this, they don't come with it. Um, that was off the top of my head, I think about eight quid, something like that. Might have been a bit more, but somewhere around there. Then we have the Guru. Um, Scissors, these have serrated blades, both sides are serrated. They feel sharp, but we'll get onto the testing in a minute. And the next one we have is the Ridge Monkeys. Um, these do have a lock there, as you can see. They feel very, very substantial. They're really quite a tough one. Um, they're, one of the big selling points is these handles that are luminous, and my God, do these things glow in the dark. Um, but anyway, let's get on to them. So we've got the same three tests. We will start off with the uh, Max Catch nippers. I'm going to change over hands because I'm right-handed. So first of all, I have got some, this is 12 pound Sunline Siglon. No, it didn't really want to cut that, as you can see there. It's a bit fluffed up at the end. Let's just get the end out. It's not cutting it as such. You can see there it's all fluffing it up. I'm getting through it, but it, it's certainly not a neat cut. Um, so now we've got some Berkeley whipla Whiplash braid in 50 pound. So what's this like this time? No. One more try. No, as you can see, it's not cutting it at all, it's just tearing it. Um, and finally, I've got some, uh, this is 40 pound amnesia mono, I expect this should be easy. Yep. Nice and easy. Hmm, okay, we'll come back to those in a minute. Um, so next we will go on to the Guru scissors. So, uh, we don't want that end, we want this end. So, yeah, again, starting off with the Sunline Siglon. Good, good. Brilliant. Impressed with those. These are literally brand new. I've not used these yet. And they've not been on the bank with me. They cut braid like everything should cut braid. That's how these... Yeah, very impressed. And... For the heavy stuff. Brilliant. Okay, like those. Right, so coming on to these. Um, by the way, the, the, the Gurus and the Ridge Monkeys are both, both stainless steel. Um, I have been sea fishing with these because these are what I take with my wreck fishing bag. Not that I've been wreck fishing. <laughs> um, but as you can see, we've got a bit of rust where the spring goes in. But um, we'll forgive that for the moment. So these got two sets of jaws. So they've got serrated, one serrated one smooth and then there's like a, a bottom one you can see there I, I hope so I'm only going to cut the braid in the actual serrated part which perfect I expect this to be even better brilliant um, because these are for braid I'm going to cut these in the knot, the, the mono in the notch, which is what I'm trying to save these for. So the actual braid part remains permanently uh, sharp. So brilliant. Okay. So uh, what do we think of these? Apart from there's bits of braid and mono all over my windowsill here. Um, the match catch, catch nippers. Um, what would I give those out of ten? For for braid, they're crap. To be perfectly blunt, I'll give them a 1 out of 10. For mono, which is what I'm going to be using these for, is cutting trout tippets, um, they work very well. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with those. Um, I feel that the spike in there is a little bit too far in, but time will tell when I actually get to use that, and obviously the bottle opener, well, I, I don't drink when I'm fishing because I'm usually driving, but uh, what would I give them? Um, for mono, yeah, they do, do a very good job. Um, they cut through that, so I'd give them probably a... Mm, an 8 out of 10. For braid, 0. 
so th that bad, you know, they, they just could not cut it, they just tore it. Um, the Gurus, uh, I like those, um, yeah, I'm impressed with those, obviously they're nice bright colours, so you're not going to lose them. Um, they cut through the braid and the mono brilliantly, can't fault them at all. As I said, not been. these have literally just come out of the packet for this video. Um, as they've not been on the bank yet, how stainless their stainless steel is, I don't know. But um, yeah, razor sharp, highly impressed. And then the Bridge Monkeys. They cut everything I've put in front of them from really stupidly thin braid up to the real thick stuff and they cut the mono stuff as well. Um, these ones, as they've got their aluminous handles, the lanyard doesn't come with them by the way, um, they're very easy to find at night and they're fairly visible during the day. Um, what would I give those? I'd probably give both of these actually a 10 out of 10. I'd only go down to a 9 out of 10 for the Ridge Monkeys, um, purely from the point of view we've got a bit of rust there and I look after my gear, it got rinsed after use but obviously it's enough for the rust to set in. Um, so yes, yeah, so there, there's three more cutters available. Um, if you have liked this video please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and if you've got any comments please do leave them below and if I remember I will try and link to my um, first video regarding fishing scissors below. Many thanks, bye now.